being in a relationship makes so many of us very happy. But finding a match can be a difficult process. We look for someone who's compatible, someone who we want to spend time with, someone who will make us a better person. And when we find someone like this, we ask them the question, will you go out with me, hoping that their answer is yes. Now, it might surprise you, but this is actually how scientific research is conducted. Research is all about finding an answer to a question, but instead of asking for a date, we ask, does this experiment work? The old way of finding an answer was to perform an experiment that we thought would work. However, if it didn't work, we would have to go back and try again with some revisions until we finally got the answer that we were looking for. In the dating world, this is the equivalent of going to a bar and asking everyone out, person after person. If the first person you ask rejects you, you move on to their friend. And then if they reject you, you move on, and so on, and so on. And this is an exhausting way to work. But thankfully, times have changed, both for science and for dating. <laughs> Meet the microarray, the scientific, equiv scientific equivalent of Tinder. <laughs> a microarray is a glass slide that contains spots of hundreds or even thousands of different compounds that can all be investigated in one single experiment, making finding a discovery or a date much quicker. The compounds that I'm interested in are polymers that can be used for new medical applications. And some previous examples include contact lenses, blood bags, bone cement. A question that I have had during my research is, are there polymers that will bind to the molecules that cause inflammation? I was able to investigate this by taking these molecules and putting them on my polymer microarray and asking which ones they like best. When I looked down the microscope, I was able to evaluate these polymers and uh, I got my answer. And surprisingly, the answer was yes, there are. What this means is that we could potentially develop an application where a polymer binds to these molecules and removes them from the blood, which would reduce the level of inflammation and could help a wide variety of patients with a number of different diseases. The microarray allows us to ask a single question and get multiple answers back. You could say that you, my audience, are a microarray of people. And so, as a scientist, it would be good practice for me to ask you all a question. After seeing my presentation today, would anyone like to go out with me? <laughs> Thank you very much.